Hey everybody, Nathan Patton here with Trimble Buildings live on location in Denver, Colorado. We're at the Source Hotel and Food Market today, joined by my colleagues Kyle Deschel, product manager for Reality Capture, and Pete Ziegler, senior market manager for Trimble Buildings. We're going to be taking the brand new Trimble X9 through its paces today, running the latest version of FieldLink. We're going to capture some scans from the outside, from the inside, try and get as good of an as-built model of we can of this beautiful industrial site that's been converted into this awesome brand new modern looking place. We're going to be simulating a bit of a retrofit project today, so join us while we walk through it. All right, Kyle, we're inside the building now. We've scanned the exterior. We're coming inside, trying to get all of this unique architecture and detail. Walk us through what you're looking for when you start to come inside, capture an interior for a retrofit project kind of like this. Sure. So initially when I come inside, I think about the spine of the building, right? How can I capture the most amount of area in as few scans as possible? Try and get just a baseline. And since we have so many smaller rooms and hallways and corridors and stairwells, I'll come back then and tie all these rooms back into that spine. And I can capture more detail. I mean, trying to just do the rooms in the Okay, so Kyle, now we're upstairs here in the source and we just have some specific areas that we want to scan. Walk us through the new area scan feature in the latest version of FieldLink. Sure, so we just completed a low range, a low density scan. So this allows us to only wait about three minutes for a total scan. If we wanted to speed up the process to capture specific areas, we can click on the area scan feature. This allows us to go and select areas, whether it's a rectangle, a vertical stripe, a horizontal stripe and allows us to then change the density to a higher setting so that we can capture more detail without having to take the entire 9 or 12 minute time frame for a scan. Right, so if I just wanted to get some more detail on that pipe, because yeah. I'm really you know, concerned about the MEP or the HVAC, I can just kind of ignore all the rest of it, focus in specifically on where I want more detail, and then I don't have to wait to do a full dome scan. It's just going to pick up data in that specific area. Exactly, and in this case, it'll only take you know, less than a minute to capture that. Okay, so now that we've finished up our scanning in the field, I've come back to the office. I've got most of my in-field registration done from FieldLink already, but I'm going to bring the scans into Trimble RealWorks to do some fine-tuning, some last-minute adjustments in order to get it really ready to go for our design team. From there, we're going to pull the data into SketchUp so I can collaborate with my architects and my designers um, and work with our new vendors for this space, for example, in this retrofit project to make sure that those new tenants uh, have all the right hookups to the existing electrical and plumbing and things like that, make sure that their designs come across the right way, and really provide that context that we need when we're doing these designs. It's really important in these retrofit projects to leverage reality capture data like this so that we can give the context, but also the confidence of our designs, really connecting the field to the office so that we can make construction a bit more predictable. By having that point cloud, we don't need to go off guesswork like tape measures and paper plans that might be outdated if you even have them in most cases. And that way, we can make sure that our design is going to fit the existing conditions, make sure that our prefabricated materials can be installed in exactly the right location so that we can get the job done right the first time. 